just waiting a few seconds here. Actually, I'm going to wait like a minute or two. See if anybody else is going to come on. Let me rotate my camera here. As you see, there's some baggies in the tank. Hmm. Wonder what it is. Oh, wow, Nigel. Um, just is that a regular uh, AGA, 120 gallon? What dimensions is it? Yeah, I mean, I've had my settings. Well, they're pretty tweaked now, but ever since that video, uh, it had taken me about. I want to say six months to get it tuned right. Um, like I say in the video, you know, you have to start with a base, acclimate it. Uh, I understand that. Oh, wow. I actually started with, um, this is my second tank. I actually started with uh, the same size tank as you have. Um, there's some pictures. Of, if you follow me on Instagram, there's some pictures of it uh, for like uh, the uh, Throwback Thursday. But yeah, as I was saying, um, it took me a couple months to get it to the settings that I share with you guys. Uh, but it is capable. Again, as I stated in the video, um, you, I recommend you guys to start with something lower than that. Um, and then just keep ramping up once you see your corals, corals being happy or whatnot. Um, this, this is my second tank, actually. Oh, sweet. So you have, you have like a uh, retrofit going on there? Again, this is my second tank. Yes, it's a 10 gallon. Um, let me, one second guys, please. Let me shut modifications off. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, the whites. Yeah, that's what I was uh, getting at. Um, I had them. I forget. It was a while back. I had them like at, I believe, 80 or 60%. Um, but my Monty, if a Monty portal cap, which is no longer, I have remnants of it on the side. I'll show you soon. But, uh, that thing loved it. It grew to the size of a softball. Um, but yeah, let me, let me get started. Um, I've had the reason I want, I want to make this video. I've had a lot of questions on my Instagram and Facebook of my equipment, also my YouTube. Um, you know, what am I, what am I running? How am I doing it? Um, and in all reality, I, I try to keep it simple. Um, one thing, one thing that I do know that kind of gets confusing is that that AI Prime is the original. I bought it when it first came out. It's probably like two years old. Um, you guys would say, but it, it works, you know. Um, I'm thinking. I want to grow more SPS. I'll show you in a second. Um, so I'm thinking of, of upgrading. Might get the uh, XR15. Um, but let's get let's get started. Um, 
I am going to switch camera now. I've been getting a lot of questions on my light. I used to have the aluminum, uh, the aluminum stand, if you want to call it, right? But it just, there's no room in the back now. So I have a hanging kit. And it is kind of tilted into towards my rock work. Now, right now, I, I changed my life schedule for a little later on in the afternoon. Uh, I work 10 hours a day, so when I get home, if I did something similar to the sun, I would never get to enjoy my tank. So I just moved it up. I'm going to make this video really quick. Um, again, I try to keep things simple with my equipment and just learn how to use them. Um, you know, uh, and do the best that I can research, um, and even tweak stuff if I have to. But, uh, I have my caddy here. This is, oh, by the way, I have some goodies that I picked up today. I'll show you guys. Um, but this is the, uh, Innovative Marine caddy. I'm not going to take it out because my, uh, ATO is going to go crazy. Um, but then again, I might just shut it up, the, the ATO off just to show you guys what I have in there. Um, this, my eShop skimmer. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. This thing is a powerhouse. It works amazing. Um, as you can see, you gotta clean it. And then... I'll show you, if I can, I'll show you the water line. I don't have it all the way down. I've seen a lot of uh, new 10 gallons or even 20s and 30s. I have the e-shops all the way down, maybe like halfway on the collection cup. I, it works for me that way. And then uh, I have the sea swirl. This thing is old. I've had it since I got the tank. And I no longer have, if you look at it, it's moving pretty quick. I no longer have the stock return pump. Um, I'm looking into, I've been looking into getting the Cishe, either the uh, 1.0 or 1.5. I like flow. Um, I move a lot of water in this tank compared to uh, stock. But right now I have a Maxi Jet 900 uh, pumping water back into the tank. Um, my ATO. This is the return nozzle right there. I actually won this ATO. It's the Tunzi 3155. I actually won it at Reef to Reef at a contest last Christmas. It works, it works awesome. I, I like it. Sometimes you just gotta learn how to tweak it. Sometimes I'll be sleeping and the alarm goes off. It'll pump too much water sometimes, but uh, I do turn off the system a lot uh, just to feed and it kinda uh, makes the sensor or the controller uh, go crazy. Um, but it, it works fine for me. Heating wise, I have the Cobalt Neil Thermal. It's a 75 watt. That thing is a beast. Keeps my water temperature in check. Got a couple goodies the other day, yesterday from Braille. Thank you guys. Got some uh, carbon, some garlic. This thing's amazing. 
and uh, my alkalinity has been going down uh, about half way through the week. So uh, I'm going to try this guy out. It actually, it'll maintain your pH at 8.3. Um, I live in an apartment on third floor, so it gets kind of muggy in here, and my pH is kind of low all the time. I know some people say, yeah, it's not important. Um, I think it is. I, and, um, in all honesty, for all your other elements to work, everything has to be correct in tune. But what this does is... Uh, It'll bring your pH up to 8.3 and keep it there. My baby. Hey, baby. Um, my fiance is watching. Thank you. So uh, what what this what this will do is uh, bring your pH up to 8.3, keep it there, and at the same time you can con still control uh, your alkalinity. Just like cockwash or whatnot. Uh, for wave maker for water movement inside the tank, let me take this stuff out. I have the Akamai. And that's the, uh, if you want to call the controller brace, that's it right there. If I, right now it's. You see the orange blinking? It's on Reef Crest or, or Wave Mode, I think it is. Here's another shot. And it, move, it moves. My Pasilipora right here loves it. Rainbow moves real nice. Uh, for temperature, I have the uh, Coral Life. It's okay. Uh, I really need to invest in something better. The temperature here, it says 79. I'm pretty sure it's off uh, by degree. Usually is. I do have a ground probe in the system. In case anything happens. I'm going to show you in the inside of the cabinet now. Sorry guys, disconnected. That's a Pusillopora digitata and all that. Oh, actually there's remnants of it right there. On top. And then I had moved it over here. But I just turned my lights down. Um, I think they're like at 17% now. Again, every tank is different. Um... What I like to tell people is, look at your look at your corals, study them. Um, if they're happy, then you're doing something right. So for my ATO, I have the controller right there, and then this is my reservoir down here. I did a video on that as well. I usually have to fill it up maybe every week and a half. So, I mean, as far as uh, runs. Hey, Devin. Actually, it's my phone my in my hands. <laughs> uh. 
So basically, guys, um, <laughs> you want to see, uh, just picked up this, uh, bar monkey. It's like a, uh, real bright orange, but then the center has some yellow. I picked it up from a local fish store, Cena City. I'm pretty fortunate um, from what I read in the forums and stuff like that and on Instagram. I have probably three of the best, four of the best local fish stores in about a 20-minute ride around me. And then this guy here, just a regular encrusted Montipora. What I'm trying to do with him is, let me move this guy. I'm trying to put him right there and see if he'll, it'll just uh, encrust the back. I've seen, I've seen it a lot. I really like it. Yes, new corals are awesome all the time. So that's basically it for my equipment for the tank. Pretty simple. Again, like I said, um, do your research on what you get. Uh, try to run it the best way you can for your tank. I've been running this tank for almost two years now, and it's gone through two changes uh, as far as coral go, and livestock has changed. Unfortunately, has changed pretty much. Right now, I'm pretty satisfied with what I have. Let me show you some of the guys I have here. That guy right there, Carpenter's Rest. His name is Mushu. Um, I love when I get new fish or livestock or anything. Uh, me and my fiance kind of do a little uh, contest. She's the creative uh, mind. So uh, she'll just look at them and, hey, that looks like something. So, uh, she thought, she thought the uh, Carpenter's Rats looked like Mushu, the dragon from the Disney movie. Uh, that's Miami right there, my naked, nearly naked clown. Uh, that's Dark Knight back there. I do have two permanent shrimp, a Watchman Goby that hides all the time. This cave is in there somewhere. Uh, and a, a uh, coral bandage, a blue box shrimp. All right, well, guys, uh, thank you, Devin. Thank you. Um, I really, don't, I really think I've covered everything as far as equi equipment goes. I do want to show this guy out real quick because there's been a lot. Even myself, I got confused uh, in using the the pen. Don't use a cup. From my understanding, Coru has actually uh, not even provided the cup already. But this thing is amazing. If you're if you're tired of your uh, refractometers and uh, you know uh, calibrating them every often, get one of these. It's amazing. That's about it. Yeah, actually, it is, Doug. Um, you you got to play around with it. I actually, what I keep my water at one point zero two six, um, and I've noticed that if it's on the higher end of one point zero two six, it'll actually uh, show you one point zero two seven and then skip down to one point zero two six. So that's uh, just telling you. That's just telling you that your salinity is higher on the 1.27 level. Uh, it's not calibrated, actually. Um, um, from my understanding, the probe in the front right here, it senses conductivity. 
incidentally. Um, what I do, what I like to do, and I recommend to everybody that gets one of these is every time you use it, either before or even after you use it, just run some RO water, rinse in RO water, and it'll actually read uh, 1.00. That's that's its um, its reset level, if you want to say. Um, but it does not need calibration. Just keep the tip clean. clean. I have a video on my channel as well using that. Um, that that ran about eighty dollars, I think. I paid for it. Um, they go around that area, seventy-five, eighty. I've seen them on the higher end, but eh, you know, <laughs> eighty is fine for me. Um, and just. What fish would you recommend for a 15-gallon reef? Uh, it depends, Logan, um, if you're starting off. I, I try to keep with the smaller fish, uh, gobies, blennies. Some blennies do get uh, large. But as you, as you can see, um, I always, you know, firefish are pretty cool, cardinal. Um, this guy here, the carpenter's wrasse, I only got him because he's small, but he, he'll grow big. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking into doing a couple projects here soon. Um, I'm actually looking to get the, uh, Nuvo INT 100 gallon. So he's going to be moving into that tank, but yeah, small look into gobies, uh, cowfish. Yes, correct. Stuff like that. Um, and there's so many varieties of them. If you look, in, if you look into uh, my Instagram, I recently had a uh, ruby red dragonette. It, a female, she was awesome. But after a week, she jumped out of my tank. I don't like having a top. And I'm even risking it with the wrasse. But I had him with the top on f for over a month. So I think he's. Uh, I just feed them a lot, keep them happy. But yeah. <laughs> yes, I haven't heard. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking into, I'm looking into some, some of the aftermarket tops. Yes. And to, you know, uh, you get attached to these fish. So when they jump, it's it's crazy, and you saved it. I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm I'm looking into aftermarket top, really, um, because uh, this is an investment. Yes, we love this hobby. Yes, we love what we put in our tanks, but we want to keep them alive and healthy, and not jump out, especially with small tanks like this. Um, I don't like the top, the uh, regular IM Nuvo top. The screen is too bulky and it, it takes away from the light, I think. Yeah, they do have those uh, uh, build it yourself tops. I like those. Um, but again, uh, I've been looking at these uh, polycarbonate tops. I'll have to check that out, Devin. Definitely. Um, I haven't had time to look at your channel. I'm definitely going to do that after this. Uh, been working pretty hard this week. Running around, stuff like that. Um, on a little update, this whole Aiken Island, I'm going to, as you can see, everybody's crowded. I have some pretty nice Aikens in here. Um, so I'm going to take some out of the frag plugs. I have these frag plugs that were... Uh, Donated to me from uh, Cena City. I like them. They're porous and they're much uh, wider than regular plugs. My problem is I have a conch snail in here, and he goes around and just shifts stuff over, moves things. But I need to get these guys separated. That way they can have room to grow. I'm taking this rock out and that rock out, and just putting them on the frag plugs. 
in the sand. See how that works. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to record that. I've just been really busy. But that's it. Um, thank you, guys. This is going on 30 minutes. I don't want to make it that long. But thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, commenting, asking questions again. After this, after YouTube posts my stream, you can ask some more. Uh, I love talking reef. I love talking with you guys. Let me turn the camera around. Yeah, again, um, I love talking reef. I love talking with you guys. Um, I get a lot of questions on Instagram. I hope this video helped some of you, some of you guys out. Um, if you need any help anytime, just look me up on YouTube, Reef Local. Look me up on Instagram, Reef, Reef underscore Loco, <laughs> um, and also Facebook, Reef Loco. Um, just message me, and I, I usually respond within five minutes. Um, a lot of you guys know that already, but uh, thank you very much for watching. And again, comment. Please subscribe if you want to uh, see more. I'm really trying to push some creative content out here. Um, again, like you guys know, I recently, I'm very excited because I recently was sponsored by Marine Depot and also Brightwell Aquatics. Um, thank you. Thank you, Logan. Thank you. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming, coming this way. Um, a couple projects. So, uh, keep on a lookout. Thank you guys. You have a good night. Happy Friday.